Hey Peculiars, it's me, Amanda, the Peculiar Brunette, and today we're going to be talking about the August Sturgeon Moon, except I've been really behind and I'm trying to get the photography done for the Pagan Planner for next year. Um, I still have left, because I've been procrastinating, I still have left November and December to do the photographs for. So I thought I could kind of just take you behind the scenes while I did that and then talk about the August Sturgeon Moon while I'm doing it. Kind of, you know, do two for one, <laughs> two at the same time. So what do you need to know before this video starts? The August Moon video here on YouTube is going to be more of a general overview for August, but if you want specifics for the year we're in, I always update that on my blog post, which I'll link below. So if you want to know the date of the full moon this month, if you want to know if there's like a super moon or an eclipse or kind of inner, anything that's specific to that year, go and check out my blog post because that will be always updated. What else do you need to know? Oh, also don't forget to sign up for the Magical Monday newsletter so you can stay updated on all things peculiar. In case you don't know, the Magical Monday newsletter comes out obviously every Monday and it's just meant to help get your week off to a great start. I'll tell you about something I've recently written or maybe a recent video that I've made and if I haven't done anything, um, you know, I'll tell you about something recently that inspired me. Um, also, I do a desktop wallpaper at the beginning of every month, so you should definitely check that out. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know for this video, so let's jump in. August fully embodies the final days of summer and signals the beginning of harvest season. Deep within us there's a subtle softening and we begin to slow down. You'll notice the days start to feel a bit shorter and the sunlight has grown a bit weaker and more golden. You may even observe a few fallen yellow leaves. August's sweltering lazy summer days inspired dreams of pumpkin spice lattes and sweater weather. We're beginning to reap the rewards of some of our crops, either literal or metaphorical. However, we need to be patient as we wait for our hard work and creations to fully culminate. The full moon of August is named the Sturgeon Moon to symbolize and represent the freshwater fish that were easily caught during this hot summer month in North America. These impressive archaic looking fish are a green gray color and their existence can be traced back over 200 million years. 200 million! Sturgeon can grow to be quite large in size and often live to be over 100 years old. Here in Idaho, the largest one ever recorded was almost 10 feet long and it's not uncommon to find them over 6 feet in length. Due to overfishing for their meat and eggs, their numbers are dwindling. However, many conservation efforts have been successful and their population numbers have been increasing. Align your spiritual intentions this month with the strong and impressive sturgeon. They've survived millions of years by adapting and persevering through many different challenges. You are just as powerful and resilient whether you realize it or not. What big ambitions did you have last winter or early spring that you most desire to see accomplished this year? Let the full moon of August's energy encourage you to push through the final hurdles to complete your goals and intentions. Allow yourself to admit if you've fallen off track and then dust yourself off and try again. Remember, progress over perfection. It's okay if things aren't working out exactly as you envisioned. Allow yourself to go with the flow and trust that the universe is also working hard to help your intentions come true. Consistent effort and hard work will always pay off, even if it's not exactly as you planned. Stay open-minded, but don't give up. Sturgeon Moon Alternative Names The Hot Moon, which has Shoshone Native American origins, which is kind of around the Idaho, Nevada, and Wyoming area. I believe it's pronounced Hyanir, which is Norse, 
and means hay making and refers to the drying and harvesting of hay. The lightning moon, which has more recent neo-pagan origins. The dry moon, which is the Catawba Native American origins. The harvest moon, which has Chinese origins. The grain moon, which has Anglo-Saxon origins. The dispute moon, which has Celtic origins. I couldn't find the meaning behind this name, so comment below if you know it. And last is the end of fruit month, which has Cherokee Native American origins. The Sturgeon Moon Spiritual Correspondences The spiritual meaning and intentions behind the Sturgeon Moon are gratitude, reaping, harvesting, flourishing, gumption, flexibility, and perseverance. The colors that align with the Sturgeon Moon are gold, dark green, and orange. Here are a few ways I've been celebrating the season of the Sturgeon Moon.
right, I hope you found that video helpful. Lots of love to you. And remember, as always, stay peculiar.